Hi, we're the Simple Teachers. I'm Whitney. I'm Angie. And we have a great video for you today all about the science of reading. Have you been wondering what it is? We hear it a lot now. Well, yeah. it's complex. It's super complex. So we're here today to help break it down and simplify the science of reading as much as possible, if it's even possible. <laughs> we're gonna try. Yes. <laughs> All right, well, the science of reading has been a topic of study for a long, long time. It is comes from a lot of research, quantitative, qualitative, where a lot of people have tried to seek for some truths about how reading is gained. How do we gain the skills of reading and comprehending what we read? That's the ultimate question that they've been trying to answer. And they've come across a lot of things that have led to making models of reading. We've had the simple view. We've had a dual view. We've had a triangle view. We've had all these interactive views. We've had a lot of different models and views being built. And one that we prefer to use on our website and in our teaching mm -hmm. is Scarborough's Rope. Yes, yeah, so we even have a video about Scarsborough's Rope. We have it on our website. So if you want to learn more directly about that, go check that out. Yes, and I, I feel like he does a great job and has done a great job of combining all the moving parts and how they work together to mm -hmm. gain good reading skills. So along with the complexity of how we gain reading and the science of reading that goes along with that, we have cognitive abilities, we have things that are behavioral, we have things that are social. There are a lot of the human element goes into it. Yeah, we're all so different, uh -huh. but we can find those three things oh, within. Oh, for sure. Yep. And there are also other elements things that happen in the classroom. You're talking students' attention. Uh, <laughs> I mean, give more. We were having a great conversation yeah. about other behaviors. You know, have they been fed? What's their home like? Like all these things that they bring in their invisible backpack, per yeah. se, yeah. that we deal with all the time as teachers, but yet we are to teach them how to read, yeah. even though there's all these factors. Yeah, motivation, attention span, uh -huh. engagement in your lessons. I mean, the Effort, list. Effort, being yes. willing to make mistakes. <laughs> I mean, so many things impact learning. It really, really, the list goes on. It is truly a complex system. However, we do know a lot about how students, children, people become good readers. Mm -hmm. And that's the good news. Yeah. And we try really hard to make it as simple as possible for you as teachers, parents, and we hope we can continue to make it simple for you. So the science of reading really in a nutshell is trying to explain how we gain reading using all of the processes as human beings. So we can't only look at phonics, the sound spelling system. We can't only look at comprehension, how we understand the text. Yeah. We can't only look at social, that we talk to understand. We can't only look at text features. We have to look at all, all of it. It may come together. So that's why the rope visual is helpful mm -hmm. because it helps us understand that oh, there's many pieces, yeah. and if one piece is not tightly bound within that rope, you know, there may, that may cause issues in reading. So they all have to be in place. Yep. So I really like that visual. I remember in my um, PhD, we used to joke around saying, it's not rocket science, but it is rocket science. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's one of those, the more you learn, the more you know you don't know, because it just keeps 
getting deeper and deeper and deeper. So hopefully we help to understand the science of reading and we will continue to do our best to help it be as simple as possible. That's right. We are the simple teachers, so that's our goal. We just try to take this complex idea and break it into simple, manageable pieces as teachers. We have so much going on simplifying works. Yep, so it does. All right, well, follow us on Facebook and Instagram, Pinterest. Check out our new website, thesimpleteachers.com. And thanks for watching our video, Simply, Simply Teach. Teach.